Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more of the Outland Cup on World of Warcraft. Hopefully it's not over by the time this video goes out. Uh, as I'm looking at the calendar, just under a week left in in real life time as I record this. So uh, yeah, hopefully this doesn't go out a week into the future because it would be a bit pointless. I suppose you guys can watch anyway, but uh, it's nice to sort of do them as a guide on how to get gold medals, because that's what I'm going for, basically. Pretty easy, to be fair. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Let me know how you're enjoying the Outland Cups, or leave a comment below and just let me know your random thoughts of the day. I'd be curious to know what you guys are thinking about. But uh, yeah, for now, I'll see you in the game. Ciao for now. Right, I'm in some trees. Uh, where we left off last time was... We'd done normal and reverse, but advanced we didn't do on this. I don't know why I did them in that order. Usually I go normal, ad advanced, reverse. But uh, yeah, this is the point where we started having internet issues again. So... I'm going to just carry on from where we left off. We've still got a fair amount of courses to get through. I think I'll leave them all. This will be the second part, and we'll just have two parts, I think. We'll do all of them today. But yeah, this is the Skettis Scramble once again. And we do like advanced courses. I said this last time. I'm sure I've said it a hundred times before that. But the tornadoes are a little bit tricky to sort of boost around. I like storing these green orbs that you can sort of use at any point. I'm just an advanced racer, man. I'm ahead of the game. I'm too good. Oh, I forgot that you can't use the the regenerate thing in in races. So that was easy. So we've done the ones with the little ticks on are the ones that we've done. Completed completely. So we've got two in Shadowlands, a uh, Shadow, oh boy, a uh, Shadow Moon Valley. Shadowlands Cup's not for a while yet, we're okay, we're safe. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to do. So we'll go over to Shadow Moon Valley then, I guess. So this first one, is this on top of the mountain? Oh no, it's here. Right at the hand of Gul'dan. I never gave up hope. The Fell Pit Fracas. Or Fracar. Is that how it's pronounced? I think it is. So on the normal course, we've got little orbs of fire going up. I'm a little disappointed they're not fell elementals, but I suppose I'm being incredibly uh, sort of pedantic with... <laughs> that. Would have been a nice little touch, but hey, maybe that would be too much green on the screen and you get confused, which I can understand. This is what I mean about the tornadoes. Like, the tornadoes are good at boosting you. 
but they're like you can only use them there when you go through them so you sort of need to store your charge points a little bit better Just in case you get to a bit where you actually need them, like a really high climb or something. But I think we're okay here. That's how you get gold. The Isles have Do the advanced course. We can blast through these very quickly. Do -do 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 -do. Now oh, I've got Pokemon on the brain. I've got the uh, the little toothless dragon dancing in my head. Not the best navigation there. We'll have lost a few seconds dealing with that bridge. There are a lot more elementals on this. God damn. I think we're still fine, though. Game's too easy. Go it's too easy. Starting off a little bit slower on the reverse courses. I find that you often do. Just the way you sort of... Uh, the angle at which you take off on the reverse courses is often a little bit scuffed. Which is fine, you usually get more time to do a reverse course. Oh, that's probably why, because you don't want to hit things like that. Fire. That should have counted. That fire should have got me. I'll hold my hands up to that one. Come on, bridge. Really? I didn't think I hit that. Oh, my hand's up to the other one. I don't think I deserve that. See what I mean, though? You get more time to do a reverse course, and I still nailed it. I'm going to head over here just in case Doomwalk is up. I don't think he will be. No, why would he be? Well, I say that he was last time, as I was having internet issues and I sort of signed off. He was uh, he was being killed by someone. So what course is this? Shadow Moon Slam. Okay. Pretty easy takeoff. Oh, I see. We're going up this way, right? Around the Black Temple, then. I've got so many fond memories about Shadow Moon, weirdly. And I'll be honest, more of them are from 
Burning Crusade classic rather than actual Burning Crusade because I didn't really I didn't hit max level while Burning Crusade was a thing <clears throat> wow that was the that's a short little track but uh, I did when I made my death knight and then got to max level in Wrath of the Lich King, I did come back here for the Netherwing Drakes. So I did do a fair amount of Shadow Moon Valley. And I enjoyed it, even though it was like 10 levels above. But doing this place on. I think I did it on my Death Knight more than my Warrior, actually, in Burning Crusade Classic. But. I did the questing on my warrior. I just think I started the Netherwing dailies on my Death Knight. Never finished them though. But yeah, I I tweeted this the other week, or maybe last week. I forget how long ago it was because time is an awkward thing I did I did tweet that I just miss daily quest hubs from World of Warcraft I don't think they should be mandatory I don't think you should have like 70,000 to do per day but I, I don't know I just like going somewhere and having like 5 daily quests to do maybe give you like a cosmetic reward like the mounts The uh, oh gosh, I didn't think about these last time, but the the Mr. Pandaria ones were good. The Veil ones did start off. There were too many, I think. That was overboard. And there were some others around as well. But I think like the the Serpent Riding dailies, they were great. Bring stuff like that back, please. So the reverse course is setting off the exact same way. Because that's how that works. If you end the same way as you start, then you start the same way you end, I guess. Charges. Ah, oh, we should still be good with this. This is fine. Just about. I don't know which races people have been complaining about this time round, but there's usually one one or two races which which people are not huge fans of because they keep getting stuck on trees and stuff like that. I thought that was gonna be the case with the Sketus one, but that was pretty pretty easy. We've got this course here, which is the Hellfire Hustle. The waters flow again. Oh, this is going to be fun. 
lots of fire elementals again. Oh. Flying on the torches of the little dark portal friends. Did we ever find out what the little, the dark portal statuette things were? Wasn't there meant to be like a massive lore conclusion on what, who those guys actually were? I genuinely don't remember. I'm sure a lot of people were talking about them at some point. Not bad course. Again, relatively easy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the advanced courses more than the regular ones. Just makes me feel more comfortable about when I'm using my speed boost. Oh. Interesting. Way better on that one. Okay, reverse course. Let's go. Get some speed up here. And as always, the technique that I've been using for all of these dragon riding races has been the same since dragon riding come out, before the races were even, like, a big thing. They were just part of, like, the Dragon Isles. It's always the case that if you use the, the flap up instead of the surge forward, flap up is quicker if you can control your camera to sort of point up at the time that you press flap up. It gives you the up boost. But if you then aim your camera down, you carry that speed boost as like a, a surge forward type thing. So surge forward gives you that much speed, which is fine. Flap up gives you that much speed, which is so much quicker. I would recommend using flap up if you can, always. On races where you're like strictly going downhill, you've got less option to use it because to like flap up from there to just go back down again, it's far more awkward. Oh. Raise the thorn, rise, rush. Oh, this might be the course that people really hate. I can see why, because it's all sort of a roll. 
I'm not gonna say crawl type architecture, but that's not that's not what that is. Okay, yeah, I see the problems with this already. <laughs> This is, um, the crawl ones in Kalimdor weren't that bad from what I remember. I think I got caught on a few trees a couple of times. Oh, lagging out a bit there. Ooh, hello. Bit of the old latency, that's fine. As long as we're not disconnecting. That's the main thing. The waters flow again. Do the advanced course. There's a lot of close ground terrain there, which gives you extra boost, I think. I don't know if it works in races, actually. I'm sure it must. Oh, where am I going? Only just sort of made that. You. Okay, reverse course. We're good to go. Still nailing them on the first time we do them, though. That's uh, that's God Gamer. I say that just as this is going to be like the first one that I fail. Stuck on a tree there. A bit of a bramble. Oh, that hurts. Oh, he's still got gold. Wait, did I get the exact same time? Oh no, I got it like 0.01 second quicker. I thought I got the exact same time on the advance and the reverse. That would have been funny. So Hellfire's done. We can go to Zangamash, which there is just the one race. So we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 races. And we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to go. So we're halfway through. So this should only be like a 50 minute part or something, maybe. <clears throat> Turn my quests off while I'm doing this kind of stuff. Do 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 Oh, is this gonna be a coil fang race? That'd be nice. What does it say? Coil fang caper. Nice. This is gonna be fairly open air, I think, unless we go What do you think the chances are this course is gonna Oh we're quite out the way actually. I was under the impression, I mean, we still might, we're in flying distance. I think we're going to go under these legs of the Kolfang Reservoir. We serve once more. I'd put 
so good money on that. Is that a sentence? No. We're going the wrong way, so I could definitely be wrong. Oh, we're absolutely going the wrong way. This is not good. Yeah, we're doing the complete opposite end of uh, Sangamash. It's called Coilfang Caper, and we're not going to the Coilfang Reservoir, really. We might go there this time. We're so back. Maybe. Oh, we could actually be going there. <gasps> yeah, dude. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, I see a tornado under one of the legs. Look, see, I, I know this game too goddamn well. I can guarantee under no circumstances have I seen any of these races before. I'm going into them completely blind. I lost a little bit of faith. I didn't actually believe we were going to go under the legs when it got to the first part of this race. It's like a, it's not quite like a figure eight thing, but it's a big sort of twisty turny back on itself kind of thing. I suppose, in essence, it is sort of like a vague figure eight shape. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I have lived to see them return. Do -do 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 -do. Very, very easy game. Oh! <laughs> I biffed it, fellas. I biffed it. Goddamn mushroom. <laughs> It threw me off. That's fine. I quite like this course, so doing it again is not a problem to me. I just needed the right music, you know. That last track wasn't it.
All right, got to be careful with the mushrooms here. Get a little bit awkward round here, I remember. Ooh. Is that gold? That's gold. That's beans, dude. That is beans. Blaze Edge Mountains. Didn't mean to say that like foreign, but... You, I remember you, in the mountains. So what's this one called? Blades Edge Brawl. Yeah, we're doing PvP. Nice. I wonder if we end up like the dragons in this area. I think it was, uh, was it Dern the Hungerer that, like, spiked black dragons on these, uh, on these spikes of Blade's Edge? That's why you gotta kill Dern, you, like, team up with the uh, Zebellion, is it? I, have lived to see I think that's return. the lore of this place, kind of. I wonder how many spikes we hit. I'm sure we'll hit one. At least one. Oh, yep, yeah. it's taking us through the spikes. That's for damn sure. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, is this like a really short course? There's no way. No. No, 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 no. We're doubling back on ourselves. Okay, this might actually be one of the longer courses then. A lot longer than I was expecting, actually. Is this the end now? Okay. 67. We serve once more. Do 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 So what are we thinking about the the dragon riding cup? So we are we fans? I think I am. I'm a big fan of them just in general. I said this last time. I like more holiday events in WoW. I think we should do that far more often. Not done any of the dig site stuff that come in 10.2.5 just yet. It's not really a holiday, I suppose. It's just more of a a patch. Thing to do. But I do like holiday events. Big fan. I think I said last time, I think the rewards this time are a little bit lesser than the Eastern Kingdoms or the Kalimdor ones. Which is fine. I don't think you need like A plus rewards every single time. I'm assuming chances are we're probably gonna... It'd be nice if we could get, like, a Frost Dragon skin for one of our Dragon Riding mounts with the Wrath one. I feel like that might be asking for too much, maybe. But chances are we'll probably get some sort of blue light suit, I'd imagine. That 
That's not a strong start, is it? Very awkward start, actually, to that race. I'm going to have to pull some time back here, I think. I'm actually a god for getting that speed boost. I didn't think I were going to get it. There's the dragons impaled. Not me. God gamer dragon rider. There's a lot of surging forward that I'm doing here. I just think the course calls for it more than uh, flat upwards. Those bits did. There we go. Nice and easy. I think that makes two more races. Well, six. Both in Farallon, Netherstorm. So we've got Eco Dome Excursion and Tempest Keep Sweep. Nice. if we go, if I'm going to take a guess, I think we'll probably go into the Eco Domes during these races, but I really hope, I really hope the checkpoints aren't near the walls, because I think visually that's just going to be very difficult to see. So I, I hope we don't go into the domes, or if we do, I hope the checkpoints aren't near the walls. Even then, though, they might still be difficult. Maybe they'll just avoid that. I'd like to think so, but I'm not hopeful. Oh, they've done it. They've done it so well, but it's still a little bit awkward. Yeah, if you fly through those parts of the Eco Dome, that's fine, I guess. I'd, it makes a kind of sense. Oh, that rock sucks. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this course. Do they are they deleting part of the eco dome specifically for this race? Is that on the fly like dynamically it's disappearing? That's so good. I'm so glad they've done that. It's still a bit weird with the purple spell effect there, I'll be honest. But it's so much less weird than I was expecting it to be. This is a fairly long course. And that's the end of it. 107 seconds, man. That's such a long course. The waters flow. I actually really want to applaud Blizzard for that. I think deleting the shield as you're like flying through it is such good design. Just visually, it makes the whole thing so much better. 
but not visually like uh what's the word i'm looking for mechanically it makes it so much better visually it makes it look worse sure but i think also you don't really care about the visuals when it comes to the dragon riding race because you sort of it's like guitar hero right why on God's green earth would you spend time improving the graphics for a Guitar Hero game? Yes, some visuals are okay, but why? Like, they're not going to make it realistic, are they? Because 99% of the time, you're looking at the fretboard and what notes are coming towards you. And it's sort of same rule applies here, right? You're too busy focused on, like, where the checkpoints are and you're looking at the immediate terrain in your sort of vicinity. You're not focused on... Or you shouldn't be that focused on what's going off around you and how it looks and everything. I'm weird because I, I like looking at little details like that, though. So it's something I sort of notice... But I think for your your average person, they might not realize that the actual shield is being deleted. I don't know. I think it's such good design, though. It's so good. The Isles have a... We're just absolutely blasting these races. The reverse course is going to be a little bit more fun, I think. A little bit more trickier, I think. Just based on some of the angles that we were taking. Oh, yep. I already got lost. My hand sort of cramped a little bit there as well. That was a really awkward checkpoint to actually see. I really wish we'd get more minigame stuff. Like, talking about the holiday events, I really like the Dragon Riding Cups. Yeah, sure. I really wish we'd get sort of more... I don't even know what minigame kind of things I would like in World of Warcraft, to be honest with you. But I'm thinking even back to the... Not Algrathar Academy. What was the... Nartholus? Those world quests in Legion... The little mini game bejeweled line management sort of mini games. Yes, they were world quests, but like, I think if you incorporated them into holiday events and stuff as well, that could be kind of fun. Oh, that was easy. <clears throat> Closer than I thought, that one. How many. Badges do we have? Got 149. We're going to have 152 after this? No. No, 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 no. We're going to have... Uh, 155, 158. I'm not good at quick maths. I think we get three per race. I have lived to see them return. So well, this is Tempest Keep Sweep. Oh, checkpoint's very low down from the beginning. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to go by like the... Oh! Oh, my mouse just disconnected there. That was great. Love that. I'm going to redo that. I don't feel comfortable with that run. 
I I don't know if the battery needs replacing. It might be safe that I actually do that, maybe. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I heard it, like, disconnect, like, the window sound and everything. So, like I say, I don't know if the battery is running low or if it just had a little hiccup. It has been a very long time since I've uh, since I've replaced it actually. I forget what is it I think it said it's like up to 900 hours. But I think if you have it in the highest like not DPI, what's the other the 1000 hertz, it goes down to a lot less than that. But even on a thousand hertz, I still managed to get a fair amount of battery life out of it. Like a... Maybe a month. Maybe just short of a month. But what I was saying before my mouse died is that I, I was going to say, I wonder if we fly past all the ships. That would make sense in a track called Tempest Keep Sweep. And that's exactly what we're doing. Ooh, that's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Eighty two, that's not bad. Aspects gray shine down on you. Gold time a hundred. Wow, it's like eighteen seconds ahead of us. That surprises me. I wonder if I can do this advanced course quicker. It's usually the case, I think. But also you have... Uh, the time to get a gold is also a lot quicker as well, so... No messing up. going to be done with the Outland Cup until the next one which is April I believe I think they're sort of planned to be every sort of two to three months which is very cool very very cool I would like more badges because I want to buy all of the things. So I'm going to have to... I think we... 81 seconds. I'm going to have to wait <clears throat> another year until I can get the rest of the Eastern Kingdom stuff, I think. But it is what it is. I only beat it by... I beat it by one second exactly. Interesting. Alright, reverse. I never gave up hope. Last one. I wasn't far wrong when I said this would be a 50 minute part, was I? Dude just knows. I'm just cracked on knowledge, dude.
Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit of a sharp turn. God damn. This reverse course has been a little more trickier, actually. A little more tricky. Ah, oh, look at that. What do we get? Outland Racing Completionist Gold. I never got the Kalimdor one, I don't think. I missed... I missed one race. I didn't realize that I'd not done it. I feel like an absolute idiot for missing that. What tab out did we get? Oh, that's kind of... That's that's fine. That could go with my unholy gear, maybe. My unholy transmog. I've got the LFR set on currently. Will that go? Eh... <laughs> Kinda. It's just a bit light, isn't it? Yeah, it is what it is. Right, back to Valdraken. So we can buy the outfit and stuff. So I should have 158 things. Which I do. Which is good. <clears throat> so how much is all of this going to cost me? Oh, I, I get more for doing this quest, actually, I think. I get 80. That's huge. Okay, I got a new transmog, that's cool. So, how much is all this going to cost me? 30, 60, 90, 105, 110, 115, 100, and I've got enough, basically, is what we're saying here. Go buy gloves, chest, shoulders, scarf, helmet. Or the scarf that I didn't get. Or it wasn't in the game, I don't know. And the toy, which is neat. I apologize for the noise that you're just going to get from all the things here. Yes. So what's that called? Endless. So that puts an aura on you called Endless Possibility. Each time you mount a customized the World Dragon Riding mount, the customizations will be randomized. Okay. Not a good example. It doesn't have customizations. Uh, I thought I had my nether wing there, actually. Oh, that is cool. Sick. I actually like that as a toy. That's really neat. I think the Highland Drake's probably going to have a bit more customization to it because. Uh... Yeah. I like that toy a lot. It's a shame you can't have that like permanently as an option. I 
think I'm going to favorite that. It lasts an hour and it's got an hour cooldown. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Bit weird that you get a silver helmet and gold armor. Strange. Yeah, yeah, I like that toy a lot. It's very good. It's very, very good. Let's put the riding outfit on. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. What are we thinking? What weapon goes with this, do we think? All arm? I mean, that kind of goes with, I guess. Sure, dude. It's a look, isn't it? It's a look. Uh, what are we thinking? We take a Narcissus picture? Absolutely, we do. What animation do we do? I think we do flex. Absolutely. Oh, it's a good look. It's a good look. Uh, lighting, I don't know. We might make it a little bit blue. Group photo. Who do I add? Something first. I don't know how to add a mount into. I don't have a target. NPC browser. Dragon. Oh, they're actual NPCs. Yeah, right. Who cares? Uh, what do we call it? Highland... Highland Black Drake. Highland Drake. Oh, can we... Grotto? No, never mind. So I can... I can do that. And then I changed that. And then my head will be here. That could work. Cool. That works for me. That will be the end of this part here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've uh, you've learned some information. And if you're looking how to get gold medals in the Outland Cup, you got less than a week to do it. Get on it. It finishes on the finishes on the 31st in EU. I don't know if it finishes on the 30th in NA. I'm not sure. Um, so you've got until the end of the month to get it done. So uh, go do it. Go do it now. And you can get some sweet rewards. I think they look pretty cool. Like I say, I like this one more than the Kalimdor Eastern Kingdom's riding suit. I think it's better colors, personally. But yeah, as always, if you like the video, give it a like and give the channel a subscribe. I do appreciate it very much and it helps out the channel a massive amount.
And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Okay. Ciao for now, adventurers. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.